In this video, we'll talk about perhaps one of the most bullish cryptos the last week, which is Auto Farm or just Auto, Auto, A U T O, uh, as, uh, as, as the ticker. We'll talk about what's happening, kind of why we're bullish like this, uh, if it's manipulated, which is always a good question to ask when the price movements look like this, but also about the project and, and whether it has any potential in the long term. So, with that being said, uh, welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Hope you're all doing great. If during the video uh, I may, my, my talk a little bit weird or I sound weird, that's because I'm sick and uh, to, to myself I, I sound pretty, pretty, pretty weird, but it doesn't matter. Show has to go on. So if we take a look at Auto Farm itself, it actually is, uh, it has a very low market cap, 18 million. Great volume now, coming from credible sources, although a lot is coming from Gate.io, which I've, I mean, I've seen that pattern. Uh, during the last week quite a lot that some of these very bullish cryptos have a lot of volume from gate.io and with auto farm as well even though i must say in the beginning it actually looks like an amazing project it's a cross-chain yield aggregator so you can actually yield uh, or yield farm on different cryptos on different chains seems to work very well has a lot locked up is still a very low market cap with already 66 percent being in in circulating supply which that all is, is, is actually pretty amazing. The thing about this move, though, is there, there are multiple reasons for this move. Uh, like, for example, uh, they just started a partnership with Neblio, which I will cover after this. But Neblio is a very trending crypto, at least at some points, of, in, at some point in, points in time, uh, like today and the last week. As you can see, so that's happening. Apart from that, they, they did some great things, but, but already some time ago, like, like around this period. They also had some proposals which I think were, were pretty great. Um, basically about uh, burning auto, auto tokens or uh, sharing the revenue under auto farmers, auto stakers, I should say. Uh, yeah, right here. So you can see 2.5% uh, uh, revenue. So altogether, it looks like a solid project. But I must say that these moves we've seen look very manipulated. And you can also see that in the price right here. Here you can see, for example, price moving up by almost four, by uh, yeah, three and a half million in five minutes. And it happens quite regularly. Here you can see as well by three million. Uh, here the volume went up uh, by three million and by four million, all the way, seven million in 10 minutes. It looks manipulated, not by the project. I don't think it's by the project. I think it's by wills, but it's something you should know and something to be careful about. Now, the thing about manipulated cryptos is they can also keep going up. It isn't necessarily a bearish thing for the price. So right now, if we kind of follow the pattern we've been in, and if we know what auto usually does, um, what you can see is that we, we touched $400 earlier today. And now, I mean, oh, excuse me. In the end, we didn't actually break above this entire level. We didn't even break above 350, which is the main resistance level we have right now. So what we're going to do is we're probably going to drop down towards this 300, $310 level. Now, if we can actually stay on top of that, so find support there, and then break above $360, I think we can extend this entire rally all the way up to $450, to be honest, and maybe even higher, but then I'll, I'll do an update on that. Um, but in my opinion, that $300 level is very important because this is only possible if we're dropping down there and we hold it as a support. Uh, if we drop down and we find some support there, but we do not manage to break above $360, What's going to happen then is we're going to drop down to 280, 270, find some support there, take a break, retest off of $300 and start dropping. And uh, I think we're going to drop down all the way to 250. From there, we might see some bullish momentum, but eventually I think we'll drop down all the way down to 200 and 220, to be honest. Uh, that's just usually, even though I like the project a lot, that's just usually what you see in uh, movements and uh, price actions like this. Now this drop might take a while. I mean, 250 and $260 is a very strong support level. Um, but as soon as we drop down below $300 and if we don't get above it very quickly afterwards, this is what's going to happen. At least according to my analysis and my experience in analyzing. So that's my take on auto farm this uh, afternoon. If you do have any questions, let me know. But for now, take care and bye.